Hello, everybody. My name is Al DePaulo, and I'm the Partner Products Manager. Today, I wanted to take a quick look at the Advanced Posting tab in Bobcad and ways that you can use it to customize your post processor. So, in this example, I just have a, a bolt hole pattern that I want to drill here. I'm using an MK Mock post processor, which is a generic Fanuc style post that I uh, created some time ago. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and load up a drilling cycle so I want to create a hole. I'll select the holes that I want to drill and I'll advance to the next. Now one of the things that you'll notice is I have an advanced posting tab and uh, in this particular case I, I've added a, a drop down menu and this allows me to set whether I'm in G98 and, or G99 mode. This is something that I would normally have to edit into your program. Uh, using the advanced posting page you can actually uh, have this pull down menu and you know switch between G98 or G99. Now you can use pull downs, you can use uh, input fields and uh, check boxes as well. So uh, you can see I'll post up my program here and we'll see that we're running in G98. I'll go ahead and change this to G99, compute it and post and now we'll see that we're running in G99. So there's an example of the advanced posting tab. Uh, what I'll do as well is I'll run a profile routine and you'll notice that I have an advanced posting tab on this one as well. Uh, here I have the option to do a stop or optional stop before the tool change. Sometimes you want to put a stop or an optional stop between operations, so I've added a pull down for that. Um, I've also added a checkbox and a value to uh, do an input field, uh, so this way I can say, hey, turn on a, a C-axis rotation and put this value in here. Now. Now just so that we're on the same page, uh, these buttons don't, they don't magically come up within your post. You have to create text files for them. Uh, here is a sample text file. And uh, there are a number of, and all of the extensions for the text files are in the help system. And uh, there are, for each type of like drilling or profiling, you have to have the machine name dot a specific extension to uh, activate the advanced posting tab. Uh, what you'll notice here is I have a combo box. Um, I tell it where it's going to be located. I add a label, and uh, you know then I have a checkbox. Uh, I have a, a label and then where it's located on the screen and then my input value as well. Now when you get into the post processor, which I'm sure you guys have seen in the past, down at the bottom there's all these uh, script sections, uh, custom programming blocks 2001 and they go up from there. So here are uh, where I grab the variable and then I say whether it's case one or case zero or case one and then I return what the string is. So that's an example for that. Uh, this is the example for uh, outputting the c-axis where I round it and return it with a c value. Uh, this is the one with the G98 or G99. So using your scripting and your custom programming blocks, what you're able to do is uh, utilize that input and then you'll see in my post I have program block number two so depending on if that advanced posting tab uh, was chosen and how it was used what it will return so this is just a, a quick uh, sample to how the advanced posting tab works and some of the options that you have within it uh, so that you guys would have a, a better idea of exactly uh, different ways that you can customize your post processor. Uh, this can get very elaborate or it can be very simple. Uh, if you are not able to write scripts yourself, Bobcat does offer a scripting service where we'll write them for you. But uh, hopefully this will give you a little more insight to how the advanced posting tab works. Thank you so much, guys.